Welcome to another episode of Izzy Video. I'm Izzy Hyman. One of the most popular questions that I receive is, what entry-level wireless lavalier microphone system should I get as a video beginner? Well, microphone systems are a lot like cameras. They vary a lot in price and quality, and you have a lot of different options that you can choose from. In this video, I'm gonna show you a single option that I think is very good for video beginners, and I'm gonna compare it to a mid-range microphone system so that you'll be able to see and hear the difference. Let's take a look at this inexpensive system. This is the Asden WMS Pro wireless microphone system. And it comes with the little lavalier microphone, the lapel mic, and then the windscreen, as you can see, that's covering it, plus this little clip that allows you to attach it to your shirt. And then, of course, the transmitter. This sends the audio signal. Now let's take a look at the receiving end. This is the receiver, it has an antenna on it. It also has this microphone plug. It is a mini jack, so if you have a camcorder that has a little microphone input that's, that's a mini jack, then this is perfect for it. It'll go right into the side of your camcorder. It also comes with this little ear plug, which is a nice little handy thing. So what this does is it plugs into the receiver and it just allows you to put this in your ear and make sure that as the camera operator, you are receiving an audio signal on your end and that it's coming through nice and clear. It's not high quality by any means, but you can tell if you're receiving an audio signal. Now, the thing about this system is it's not super high quality. I'm not going to say it's amazing. It's not. It's an entry level. It's for beginners. I think it's really good for somebody who's just getting started and is not planning to use this equipment for professional purposes. You'll see why here in a little bit as we go into more into detail. But for just getting started, it's a great option. A couple things I want to point out. First of all, you do have two frequency options to choose from. You can see you have frequency one and frequency two. Now the great thing about that is that if you're on the first frequency and it turns out you have a lot of interference or you're getting bad audio, you can very easily just flip the switch and that'll take you over to frequency number two. That's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because you do only have two frequencies you could choose from. A mid-range system would give you dozens or even hundreds of different options to choose from when it comes to frequencies. Also, this is the receiver portion of the system. I want to show you that the way you attach it, or one option for attaching it, is using this, this uh, shoe mount. Now, if you have a video camera that has a shoe on it, then this makes it very easy to attach. Now, in my case, with this Canon camera, I didn't have a regular shoe. I actually had a mini shoe, so this wouldn't attach. So I had to get this little adapter, which I paid about $30 for, and that allows me to very easily attach this uh, receiver now to my camera, and then I can just plug this into the side in the microphone, and now I'm good to go for recording audio. What we're gonna do for the next segment is we're gonna cut away from using our current camera, we're gonna switch to using this camera and this audio system so that we can hear exactly what this sounds like with this low-end microphone system. The audio that you're hearing right now is from the inexpensive Asden system. And when I hear this audio myself, I think a couple different things. Yes, you can hear my voice and you can understand what I'm saying, but it sounds kind of flat. And in my opinion, it's not a great representation of what my voice really sounds like. So if you need something that's just for communication, you just need to be able to hear what they're saying, then this might be a good option. But if you need it to be high quality, maybe not so much. Let's take a moment to compare this now to a more mid-range system. The system we're going to use is this wireless evolution system, evolution wireless system from Sennheiser. Both the transmitter and the receiver are from Sennheiser, and I would consider it a mid-range system. To give you an idea of what this would cost, it'd be about $600 for these two units. But the microphone that I'm going to use is actually from a company called DPA, and this is about a four or $500 microphone. So total cost with this system would be about $1,000, whereas with the inexpensive Asden system, it's about $150. So the question is, what is the audio quality going to be the difference between a Sennheiser system with a DPA microphone versus this inexpensive Asden system? So what we're going to do in the next segment is I'm going to bounce back and forth between the two so that you can hear the quality difference yourself. This is what I sound like using the Asden microphone system. It's definitely very flat sounding, but you can clearly understand what I'm saying. And this is what I sound like with the mid-range system. It's a better representation of what I really sound like, and the audio quality is definitely much better. Let's hear that again. This is what I sound like using the Asden microphone system. It's definitely very flat sounding, but you can clearly understand what I'm saying. And this is what I sound like with the Sennheiser mid-range system and the DPA microphone. It's a better representation of my voice. Clearly, the mid-range system has better audio quality, but the low-end system didn't sound nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. Incidentally, I did test attaching a higher quality microphone to the low-end wireless system, and there was a small improvement in the audio quality.
Now we're going to test the distance capabilities. I'm right next to the camera right now, but as I move away from the camera, you'll notice that once I get to about 10 or 50, uh, this is probably about 20 feet away from the camera, it starts to get to the point where you can't really use it. And it's not going to be something you use for weddings or something where you need some distance between the microphone and the camera itself. Uh, I'm going to mark my position because what I'm going to do next in the next segment is I'm going to use the Sennheiser system, which is more mid-range, and we're going to see how far away we can get with that before the audio becomes unusable. I'm starting at the limit of the previous system. I'm now using the mid-range Sennheiser system, and I'm going to go back a little bit further, and what's going to happen is I'm already double the distance, in fact, triple the distance that I was before with the other wireless microphone system, and you'll still hear that I'm, I'm coming through pretty much loud and clear. At some point, though, you'll start to hear little breakups in the audio, and that'll mean that you really probably don't want to work at that distance. Man, this is much better than the other system. Uh, at this point, at this point, it's uh, pretty much solid audio for as far as I'm able to see. Okay, so right there. All right, so that's a very big difference in distance between the other microphone system and this one. You, clearly, if you need distance between the camera and the microphone, something in the mid-range or higher end is going to be a better option for you. A couple other differences between these systems. One thing you'll notice is that the front of the Sennheiser system has a VU meter, so it allows you to see the audio levels as you're capturing the audio, and that's super useful, and it's something I definitely miss as I use the ASDEN system. Incidentally, both the transmitter and the receiver have VU meters on them with the Sennheiser system. Also, another big difference I notice is that the build quality is totally different. The Sennheiser has a very strong, durable type of build quality where the Asden system seems more short-term, temporary, could fall apart pretty easily is my guess. So if you're investing in the long-term, the Sennheiser or some other system mid-range or higher might be a better option. Keep in mind that this system is just a place to start. It's not something you'd want to invest in for the long term. And you definitely wouldn't want to use it for paid type of work, for professional video production where you need something reliable. In that case, you'd want to invest in something definitely more reliable and higher quality. But even with all the problems, I think that the Asden wireless microphone system is a great option when you're just getting started and if you're on a tight budget. Hopefully you found this information helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.